Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. Today, I have some things that I've gotten in that I think you will be interested in. If you think that too, then keep on watching. Keep on watching. Okay, so. I'm not going to keep you. No, I'm not going to keep you. Do I ever keep you? So today, you see, I'm all natural. <laughs> I decided today that I will come up here just to show um, a few things to you that I've purchased. And I'll start with what I'm wearing. So these earrings. So the first thing is, no, they are not heavy when i say i barely can feel them if it wasn't for the fact that they were touching my um shoulders i would not know i had these on how she did it i don't know but let me tell you where i got them from um i love just going through instagram and sometimes you find stuff that you like and to make sure that I'm, I got the right website and everything, I like to make sure that I say everything correctly. Now, on Instagram, it is It's All Culture Statement Jewelry. And her name is Ashley Bebley. What you think? These earrings feel so good. I will highly recommend. I can't wait to buy something else. And the shipping did not take long at all because you know i'm quite sure this is a small black owned business and she these are handcrafted because there is no other one like this anywhere so while i have this in my hand i got a new ipad um just your regular ipad it's the newest version of it uh but what i wanted to really show you was um the case that i got it holds my pen for my iPad and it is so colorful and pretty and it has a strap to it. So when I'm traveling, I can just, you know how you are on the plane or in the airport or wherever you are taking, I can just put it crossbody like this and it, I don't have to worry about digging it out of my bag, trying to make sure it's in there. I don't have to worry about when I'm getting on the plane, I just take it off my shoulder, put it in the little tray, take it back off and put it across my shoulder. And if I'm going somewhere and I want to take my iPad with me, but I don't want to take a big purse, then you can take this and wear it crossbody. I love this thing. <laughs> I didn't think I would take it all so many places as I do. And I just throw it right cross body and keep it moving. I'll link it down below. It's a it's a on um, Amazon. But look at this little um, Mickey Mouse cup, and the top comes off, and it's little Mickey Mouse ears, and it can keep your beverage hot. So if you're going somewhere and you you drinking your coffee and you want your coffee to stay a little hot. Do you got this little Mickey Mouse mug? I'm so goofy, right? Look, it's got all the little Mickey Mouse um, drawings on it going all the way around. And it's a nice size cup. And I got it from Home Goods. You know, I love my Home Goods. And let me see. I think I got, yep. I got this for um, $9 at Home Goods. Come on, guys. Look at this. Isn't this nothing but precious? Have my coffee all nice and hot. So that's the first item that's not jewelry or clothes or shoes. And I got some perfume as well. Okay, the second thing is, you know, we keep it masks, right? Well, some of them masks I can't breathe in. I don't know about you, but I can't breathe in some of them. And so I wanted, so I got off Amazon a pack of 50 uh, black masks. Um, 
that's disposable so you can please don't throw them on the ground please throw them in the trash it's still a lot of trifling people out there i'm sorry um and it's very breathable uh but still protect you like you need to be protected and a box of 50 gonna last me forever because whether you got shots or not you still need to keep protecting yourself if you're going around a lot of crowded places so these face masks oh my gosh i can breathe in them so good I, they are very good i'm glad i decided to get those second is you know i'm always talking about something that's weird you like lady why are you bringing that up but i don't know if you have these problems like i do but one time i could not it seems like it was just so much in my ear like it kept feeling funny and i was thinking is something in my ear because i feel like i can't hear really good and it feels like something's in there so i bought this um it's called d brox and it's a earwax cleaner and it, i got it off of amazon let me see if i come close you can see it but it'll be linked below and i just put it in my ear and i turned my head to the side for like 30 seconds and um then it will slowly drain and you know you just have a napkin so you can when i tell you i was like okay now i can hear now it doesn't feel like something's in there because something that could be in your ear could be the tiniest thing like when you use q-tips to clean your ears you never know if you leave a little piece of that little cotton you know um swab in there but something was in there so i clean my ears and i kept this so that i can clean my ears every every uh three months I started using this hand soap i got this from home goods as well and it is the name of it you know i always put the name there child because i can't see these words i first of all the ball is beautiful look at that isn't that just so beautiful i love having nice pretty things like this in the bathroom it makes it seem so luxurious right um and this lotion oh my goodness this Ukrain advanced repair lotion it's a thick lotion even if you don't have dry skin or need it for because i used to i buy the the i used to buy the Ukrain cream in the big jug uh for my son because he had eczema but i use this and i'm gonna tell you why because ai the great who i follow um, when it comes to perfumes she put this on it has no scent no scent to it at all and it the oil in your perfume sticks to it and it lasts longer on your skin so i use that just for that and on my feet because you know i love a good lotion to keep your feet in between your pedicures keep your feet nice and soft and keep them from being dry so definitely this and of course i got it off amazon you know i love going to get earrings from dillard's i got these betsy johnson look at those these yellow earrings these hoops with the little yellow ribbon these are so cute so amazon uh dillard's had their sale of course and you know i never paid i i think i paid like 14 dollars for these so nice and I also got these Natasha earrings as well. Look at the hoop. I, I'm into the hoops for some reason. Um, look at the, the green in the, well, what is this? Like a turquoise bluish green and with the yellow. Yellow is my thing this summer. Yellow and white. The, that, that's my, that, those are my colors this summer. Outside of my favorite colors. Uh, let's see. I also from Dillard's got these earrings, um, and of course the brand. If you can't see this, I'll put it going across the ticker. And they're just the little hoops. I mean, not hoops. I'm sorry. The little um, studs to put in my second hole that I have. 
with my earrings. So I bought them specifically for that. Okay, so outside of Dillard's, I don't know if anyone's heard of this brand. It's called um, Brighton Collection. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Brighton jewelry. It's not very expensive, but it is still a nice jewelry brand. They use um, uh, silver for all their base of their jewelry. Um, and you'll know it's Brighton because it has a B emblem um, with a heart, I believe, on the inside. So let me see if I can show you these. So this is the hoop. It's not big. It's a nice size hoop. And their jewelry have, you can tell that this is handcrafted because it sits off of the earring. You can tell somebody sat and actually crafted this so i got the bracelet as well so beautiful so i got the bracelet the earrings and the ring and i got them from a consignment store that sells uh the consignment store is called fifi's and it it sells um luxury jewelry as well um, so one I more thing from dealers i got this silver bracelet let me see if i put it on if you can see it i got this to go with my hermes click clap bracelet so i can put it on with it look at this look at this isn't it so nice i got this from dillard's as well and it's nice and heavy and it, it, I thought it would look really, really nice against my skin and really nice with my Hermes clip, clip clap bracelet. So when I wear that, I'll make sure you see it next time I wear it. I'll film in it so you can see it. But you can also follow me on Instagram where I always put at least one or two items that I'm going to show you I've already styled or wore on Instagram, so um, age is how you wear it across the board. Okay, so that's it for jewelry and just your regular household stuff. So now I'm gonna show you the luxury perfumes that I have gotten. So I've, I've started being obsessed with perfumes. And you know, once you start, <laughs> it, it's just a wrap, but I wanted to try the Perfume de Mali, so I got the travel size from um, fragrance.net just so that I can try it. And oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm gonna make sure that I do a perfume review, but I wanted to wear my perfumes to give you a real review on the perfumes. So look out for that. Um, and each one I get is a Eau de Perfume, so I haven't gotten a toilet yet, but sometimes the toilets are very good smelling. You might not want to buy the perfume. So um, they didn't have the bottle of the uh, Perfume de Mali on uh, fragrance.net, so what I did was I bought two of the travel sizes, and um, I'll be going on vacation soon. So I'm gonna wear these, uh, well, not these both, but I'm gonna take one with me and um, see how the wear is, but these, oh my gosh, they smell so, so good. I have the Hermes Twilly uh, Eau de Perfume and it has a note of ginger. So what I did was I bought some original, it, the name of the brand is Original, and I got their Ginger Burst. I got it in the souffle. And it looks like this. Mm. It smells like, oh man, it smells like, um, it smells like something that's been cooked or baked. Uh, it smells so delicious. And actually, instead of ginger, it actually reminds me of, I think I got some on my lip. It actually smells like a lemon souffle to me. I don't know, it smells so delicious. And I got it in the lotion as well, cause it came as a set. You can buy it separately. Uh, but what I've learned from, I told you I follow AI the Great, and what I've learned from her is layering is important and she is right. So when I wore this with my Hermes Twilly, 
uh, perfume. I put on the lotion first and I always put the perfume on my arms. I don't put it anywhere else. I know people spray it everywhere. I only put it on my arms and I'll spray some uh, if it's not if it's not high in oil, I'll spray it on my shirt because you know that oil can stick. But mostly I'll put this on and I'll put, if I have a body lotion or whatever lotion I want to pair with the perfume, and I put that on and that's that's about it. So this right here though, mm, it smells so good. And with that ginger, with that ginger that's already in the um, Hermes, Twilly perfume. Uh, since the concentrate is not real high, it just brings out. It makes the per. It makes the perfume a little stronger, and that way, um, those smells together. I don't know what it is, but it smells delicious. I got I the lotion already. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540. You know, I even have the dupe. Okay, because I want to see if. I want it to, because there's dupes everywhere. It's like the Bottega. They say you can buy all the dupes, but until you put those shoes on, it, it doesn't even matter. So I got the dupe just to see if, since everybody keeps saying the dupe is so close to it, it smells just like it. I wanted to make sure that it was something that I wanted to have on my body, and I got the lotion as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, so I got the Eau de Perfume. Actually, it was a gift for my birthday. So here's the box. And when you open it up, the, um, When you open it up, it comes in the box like this. Can you see it? So beautiful and luxurious. And then you pull it out and there she is. So I got the, um, the smaller bottle because it will not be sprayed to death at all. So I did not need the big bottle. Guys. Okay, so I'm going to do my review on, like I said, all of my perfumes. But guys, listen to me. Yes, the dupes, the, whatever the one thing that's in this perfume that everybody is duping, yes. I, I give you that, yes. But the original smells like so much more. It smells luxurious. It smells... It, it has that smell. I don't know what that one smell is that they all have. But when I tell you what I love about this so far is that when I spray it on, I smell it when I first spray it. Then I don't smell it anymore on myself. So at first I was thinking, okay, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. The dupes I can smell all day. Well, not all day because they don't last all day. But the dupes I can keep smelling on myself. I don't smell this. But other people do. They like, that smells so good. What are you wearing? I don't smell it. For a minute, I had to think, wait, what am I wearing? Because I don't smell it on me. I don't know if, every, if it's like that for everybody else. But baby, I love that. I love the fact that once I put it on, I initially smell it. But after that, unless I really like smell myself, take the time to really smell myself, or when I take my clothes off and I smell it on my clothes, I don't smell it. Mm, child, please. I don't care. Worth every dime and the dupes give it no justice. Now, I'm not saying don't buy the dupe. Do what you want. I don't tell nobody what to do with their money because I won't sit next to you making that money. The original is worth it. Okay, this is getting so long, but I like spending time with you guys. 
So don't forget to like and subscribe, share. Please come back and see me. I'm trying to get these numbers up. Grandma trying to have a little, a little butterfly. We trying to get a little butterfly thing going on here. So I need more butterflies to join me. So let's talk about shoes and then clothes and we'll be finished. Okay, so I got these shoes. You know I'm a thrifter. I got these nude shoes. I don't need but one. I got these nude shoes from the thrift store and they are a pair of BB, you see right there, BB shoes. These shoes, and I like the cork look, cause you know that cork look, that the cork, I've seen a, quite a few pair of cork heel shoes or you know, just something different with the heels and, and the height is sexy and it looks like I barely have a shoe on. This is sexy, honey, and this was 20 bucks and worth every dime. It, I don't even know. It barely looked like anybody wore them. And I'm going to show you a picture right here or here. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Of me wearing these Bottega dupes. Do you see they even put the... Girl, y'all just don't know. These people tried. And the color, the purple. Oh, man. I, these are so nice. I, I, like you can see from the picture, that's the first time I'm wearing them. And this bottom, it, I haven't even stepped outside with them. This bottom, this ain't a fake bottom that makes it look like, this actually has that, uh, I guess you could say, I don't know, that rubber, leather, whatever it is at the bottom. I'm, try, I'm quite sure Bottega's is probably leather or something very luxurious. Um, but these are from Amazon. Yes. I will link them below. These are from Amazon. They got them. If you hung with me, put butterflies in the comment section below. Let me know if you hung with me. All right. So the first dress, guys, this is the Alexis dress with the Target collab i got two items from that collab this beautiful this blue is so uh, cobalt blue this blue and white is so beautiful and the belt that goes with it guys you see i put a i did an instagram reel walking in this dress and you'll see a picture here of it this right here, yes, this is worth the price. Because I think the dresses ran from 45 to 50 from four, I think from 40 to 65 dollars. This is beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this on vacation. I cannot wait. And then last but not least, guys, you know I had to. Pick up. I had to pick up a Christopher John Rogers dress. And of course, I picked this one. Now, first of all, go up a size. Go up a size. Unless you are slim and you didn't do your normal size. But if you like me and you got a little breast or a little belly, you need to go up a size. Look at this beautiful color. I'm going to do in July, I'm going to do a bathing suit um, lookbook for people who have bellies. I'm going to do how to look, still look sexy in a two piece, um, one piece, how you can still look sexy even with a belly and even at my age. How can you look sexy in a bathing suit? And this dress is going to be one of them. Because unlike everybody else, I don't know about everybody else, but I go to the beach. I like to take cute pictures at the beach, get in the water for five minutes, and I'm done. I'm not a beach person, but I love going to the beach and taking beautiful pictures on the beach and getting in the water for five, ten minutes, and then I'm done. Gorgeous. You see me wearing it right there just so that I can put it on. Oh. 
so the colors on our skin gorgeous gorgeous okay guys thank you so much for joining me please make sure you come back you know i do everything that has to do with mind body and soul so whether it's on the outside or the inside and i still i do have my scripture series um and uh even though i cut down from doing it every other wednesday until i get a you know a little more people following me because that's time consuming um i will do it on a wednesday once a month so make sure that you follow me this month for my um my scripture series and then you know every saturday i post something and then i do my style inspo on sunday where i am styling and really not doing any talking those are usually my five minute videos guys don't forget no matter where you are in your stage of life you're still beautiful and you're going to become that butterfly bye guys mm -hmm.